asking that everyone enter school via the front gate and exit via the main gate, as shown on the map. These will also be clearly labelled with signs. From that point, we are establishing a one-way system around school to try to minimise contact between people. Once through the gate, please proceed to the top of the ramp. There are social distancing markers that we ask people to use when lining up. Here, your child will be signed in by a member of staff. When you meet us, we may be wearing PPE. This is just to keep everyone safe. This might include an apron, gloves, a mask and a visor. Even though we look a bit different, we are still the same people, I promise. Once your child is signed in, we ask the parents make their way to the main gate which is the exit. This is labelled on the map. Children, you will then walk around the building to your classroom. By then you will know which number group you are in. The classrooms have their number in the window. If, like me, you get lost easily, don't worry as staff members will be on hand to help you find your way. To start with, we may give you a coloured cone to match to the colour in your classroom window. Year 6, you will make your way up the ramp to the junior building where you'll find your classrooms as shown on the map. For parents and children in preschool, please follow the one-way system from the front gate up the path to the preschool entrance where staff will meet you at the preschool gate. Once you've dropped your child off, please follow the path past school and rejoin the one-way system to the exit. This will all be clearly marked out for you. On entering school, all children will be asked to wash their hands. Classrooms will look a bit different to what we're all used to. Chairs and tables will be spaced out more than normal. There will still be toys for younger children, but there might not be as many. Everyone will have their own pencil case with their own resources to use. There will be less children than you are used to. But we're really lucky that we have lots of outdoor space and teachers are working really hard to plan activities that we can do outside. to the collection zone for their correct time. Parents will be asked to use the one-way system and stay on the path. Children will be sent to them once they are spotted by a member of staff. In families where more than one child is being collected, siblings will be brought down to the earliest collection time in the family to avoid parents having to make multiple trips to school. 